Look at her. She's not giving one shit. I mean, you haven't been able to smoke in a bar in like 20 years. She has seen some things. I, I want to know what she's seen. No, you don't. You got me day drinking. All right, when you psychotically embraced honesty just now with the FBI, you didn't mention that you left the hotel room. I don't even really know if I did. Okay, yes, but if you did, that could theoretically have been when someone else might have come in and killed him. Okay, but I... If you're right about that, about the time that Alex died, that means I was so fucked up that I got back into bed with a dead man? It's kind, it's kind of the only thing that explains why you're not dead, too. Oh, my God, that's just sad. Like, that's bad, right? On a personal level, that is just bad. You were, you were blackout drunk, and that could have, that could, you know, it could happen to anyone. No, it couldn't have happened to anybody. This doesn't happen to anybody, okay? I don't want to be this person. If you got in bed with him after he was, you know, dead? It, yes, okay, if that is, in fact, what happened, it's a thing that happened, you know? And it, it doesn't define you. Thank you. You're welcome. I just, why didn't you take the fifth? I don't get it. I nodded. I know that you saw me. We had, like, that whole thing. I was like, I'm gonna nod, and you were like, okay. Okay, listen. Can I fix this? Just look. If I had information that I could trade with them, or, I mean, I'm starting to get these memories, so we could go back in there, have another conversation, we could figure okay, this out. You gotta go down. You're doing that thing where you get obsessive and you spin out. Annie, I have to get obsessive about this. I am your lawyer. I will be obsessive about this. I will figure out a strategy. You go be a flight attendant, go home, pack in your little, like, Marie Kondo way, take your flight to Rome. Rome. There is nothing that you can do here. Do you understand me?